Tryna squeeze into my true religion that I know welcome back to my channel ah i get so excited whenever i literally have to welcome you guys back but if it's your first time here please do not forget to no welcome ah why am i jumping the gun relax anyway welcome to my channel babe if it's your first time here welcome 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 if you feel like you want to join the family please do so disclaimer guys before i get into the video there are a lot of noises that are going to be happening on this video why is the lighting like that okay perfect there are a lot of noises that are going to be happening my dogs are going to bark this is a great type of because it's a say main road literally and the makeup shit is literally staining and i am my third glass of whatever i'm drinking this cute little drink <laughs> love her loads Kesana. she is so pink she's giving life Kesana. anyway mm -mm. had to go close the door Kesana. anyway i asked you guys to ask me questions why is it so stained i am darker but okay your hair uh, makeup Kesana, and it tandy sometimes Anyway, let's get into it, guys. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram uh, about getting to know me. And you guys asked me, like, a couple of questions. And I took, like, quite a few from what you guys asked me. Yeah. And I really just want to answer you guys because I feel like these questions are what you guys always ask me. Like, why are you from the Gangaka? Anyway, why are you Pesa? Yeah, better and I love it for myself, guess I know. Mm, mm. This piece wants to come out so bad. Like why? I wanna change the rings because this one I lost it while I was brushing my teeth and I was like, okay girl, you gone, you gone. And I don't want to take it out. So I'm struggling. Hanyani. Maraya guys, I wanna answer you guys' questions. I want to answer you guys' questions and yeah, we had that. Okay, let's get into it because now I'm rumbling and I don't even know why I'm rumbling, child. Anyway, yeah. So the first question is, I'm going to go back to the very first question. My handwriting is so sus. <laughs> are you a student or are you working? I am literally none of the above. 2022 like 2022 I, I feel like i always preach this 2022 i decided to take a gap and literally just think about mm -mm, she's coming out <laughs> okay see so i be it fast forward i 2022 guys i decided but I'm just going to take a gap and just think things through and thoroughly. And I am not working a 9 to 5 job. I am not working a 9 to 5 job or in the corporate world or whatever. I'm not working a 9 to 5 job because I feel like it's not for me. You know when you know something is not for you? Like you are trying, even the doors themselves are shutting down in front of you. Because you know what you're good at and you know what you're not good at. I feel like working a 9 to 5 job is not my... It, it, it's not it's not my thing. I know I'm not supposed to be picky, especially in South Africa or whatever. But guys, no. I feel like working a 9 to 5 is not my, you know, cup of tea so i'm not working i am not a student either i'm literally just pushing <laughs> okay i'm pushing i'm surviving yeah and so second question who do you stay with your family or do you stay alone i still stay with my family i think it shows because we say hi like literally i'm at home um yeah i stay with my family but most of the, like most of the time i'm really alone they like they never home because they're always at work so yeah i stay with my family you guys and not alone yet not alone yet good land you manifest like a son ah please you bore me okay so third question what is your favorite food i like pasta pasta 
a lot of people are gonna say pasta but i call it pasta i don't know why but eat pasta and that's it i like eat pasta spaghetti for say i like spaghetti so much and it's super nice man and i think it's easy to cook so i think that's why it's my favorite food yeah when it comes to eating meals is he right he right <laughs> I just like it i think i think it's right but yeah i like spaghetti and that's it i like it so much like it's so nice i don't know it's really so nice like i choose spaghetti over anything and then the fourth question is how old are you i feel like this is a frequently asked question i think i don't know I, I i really don't know why people ask me this question like i'm old enough to do whatever i want to do but let me not hold it back i'm 19 i'm still a teenager um yeah i'm 19 <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that i'm 19 yeah i'm 19 there's nothing wrong with that absolutely nothing wrong with that and i'm gonna drink to that because i see nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. i don't even think that's wrong okay so fifth question i think i'm gonna lose my count because i'm already losing it fifth question what are you doing what do you do for a living so for a living i create content for a living <laughs> and i do promos especially promos i do a lot of promos for now even though i feel like in the future that that concept of me doing promos for people on my page is going to change and then i'm just going to do it for brands do you, do you understand because when you do promo for people i feel I, I think they feel so entitled to you like literally let me make an example quick like an artist would say oh yo let's push it together um i'd love to work with you i'd love you to promote my work or whatever and when you agree they they haven't paid you fam when you agree this person is now like yo bro when are you dropping the video like you haven't paid me don't bs me you haven't paid me do you understand so i think that's going to change very soon but mostly i do promos and then content creation and then obviously i hustle here and there like i try to get my bed and my blood <laughs> my bread and my butter from other things like managing other things man like there are a lot of ways to make money so i try and do that yeah i try and do that i literally try and just be busy do um i do um extra work like i i have an agency that fills me up with commercials gigs and stuff like that so i really just try by means to do as much as i can without saying oh no i'm a content creator i'm not going to do a b c and d so i try and do all that i can to live my best life or to just live life in general i don't know i feel like i'm rambling on that question but to answer you in a proper way what do i live for a living what do i do for a living to a living i literally just make sure that i get my bread and my butter okay i excuse me <laughs> i literally make sure of that by that i mean i make sure that i do everything if i'm called if, if i'm called if i'm if they call me if like an agency calls me and say oh yo we have like um production that needs a b c and d and you are just going to be on background i am going to go there because at the end of the day in order for me to reach something i have to do something i've never done so yeah i just be doing things that i've never done before i just and that makes me live my life. <laughs> okay, so sixth question is, you don't know like you, like, what do you not eat? Hmm. Mm. Peanut butter. Oh, my God. Oh. I kill like peanut butter. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> joking, guys, because, like, what if in the future? <laughs> But no, I, I don't think I'd ever work with a brand or whatever because Andy eat tiny peanut butter. But Andy, Andy no eat any peanut butter. Like he says, "Twa yo yo twa in the front part yo so ngi ng shake yo na yo da ayu ku potor." Munda se di kya so ngi so mile. Noske di kya so ngi so mile because there's no way, there's no way in this ocha. 
ipina bata and he came down say like I'm gay kwa yona it smells sayo asi asi nukel kamandi as no kasana and you for me ipina bata no okay so seventh question can we be friends if you don't mind? Guys, please don't get me wrong. Before, let, let me just... Mm. Before we get into this question, I want you to think about... Why, I, I want you to think about your question. When myself, like the reason why you want to be friends with me, ask yourself why, why, why do you, why do, why do you, why do you, why do you want to be friends with me? Because I feel like the only reason why you want to be friends with me is because you feel like you are going to be, I feel like the only reason why you want to be friends with me is because you feel like you are going to benefit something out of the friendship. And it's not genuine. I feel like genuine friendships are just people who click in general without even caring who they are. Do you understand? And I hate it when... No, I hate it when people ask me this question, really. Not that I might be your friend. Like, we could be friends, doll. We could talk with do everything. But why? Just ask yourself, why do you want to be friends with me? Because now you're not going to be genuine. You're not going to have pure intentions. If I make mistakes, you're going to make sure to draw over me. You're going to make sure to drag me. You're going to make sure to do all the things that I do not want in a friend. Do you understand? So I really want you to know that I don't mind being friends with you. But I feel like friendship is supposed to be a genuine thing. Not to be asked. Because trust me, the friends that I've had in the past and the friends that... Okay, I don't think I have friends right now. Do I? I don't know. But like the friends that I've had, it's not because they asked me to be friends. We literally just clicked because we were speaking often, we were speaking daily, we were doing A, B, C, and D. So the minute you ask me to be a friend, then I know you're not being genuine. Then I know there is something you want behind being my friend. What do you want? Because you're not going to get it. <laughs> Yo, well. Mm -mm. Refill, doctor. Refill. This is literally my last glass and I'm done because I'm trying to not drink alcohol as much. She's so good. <laughs> okay, so the the super number one book. Eight question eighth eighth question. Um where are you from in the Eastern Cape? So I really want to answer this one. So because I'm like, and I'm like, bro, so I'm a and you bar. So my mom, my mom is from Ekobokobo. Yeah, my mom is from Ekobokobo. I live there, Tabra. It's a new little town, so I'm was a king, basically. And my dad, my dad and I have never spoken about. My dad and I have never spoken about um the Eastern Cape, and I never ask really because I feel like this home up in Cape Town. see where I stay this home where we are right now is literally everything for me and I'm really happy like genuinely like I'm also um I never asked my dad about my leapy Kylie to when we going to the Eastern Cape or whatever because I feel like it's a la like mama from me my is enough and yes I never ask I should ask my dad you know I should ask um how do you can how do you okay how do you maintain your confidence so well <sighs> that's it i think it takes practice it takes so much practice like i literally just want to say this before anything i'm not always as confident why am i <laughs> i'm not always as confident as i appear to be like i'm not i'm literally not so i have my days where I feel like my <laughs> and I could just cry, you know. Where I feel like I'm not the hottest girl in the room or I'm not the girl that I think I am. Do you understand? But I think one thing that I always remind myself because 
one thing i always remind myself is that i am beautiful and i'm worthy and when i look at the mirror or i'm doing anything in the mirror like literally doing my hair i literally speak to myself and just let myself know that i am worthy i am beautiful i am the girl that i think i am okay so i think it takes practice just literally practicing all the things that you need to know about yourself and just knowing what you're insecure about you know when you know what you're insecure about you literally try and fall in love with that more than what you love about yourself i'll make an example say i love the fact that i am beautiful and my body is so fine and but i hate my height it's just an example not that it's happening in reality but it's just an example but i hate my height and whenever someone says you're on fi chani i get triggered i should just practice to just speak to myself and be like yeah i get it you're short like um chani yeah i get it but that is not going to change because this is how you this is how this is who you are and this is how you are do you understand so it's literally you speaking to yourself and training yourself what you when someone else highlights something you're insecure why am i speaking fast relax why is it fast why why is it not fast <laughs> why am i speaking fast <laughs> guys please forgive me um it's like when someone comes into my life or someone just tries and highlights the negative things that i hate about myself or the things that i hate about myself i'm not triggered so what you're trying to do is try and what fall in love with them just fall in love with the insecurities fall in love with how small your eyes are fall in love with how big or wide your eyes are fall in love with how gigantic or gigantic gigantic is it gigantic or gigantic Zala, it's gigantic. That's so gigantic, gigantic, gigantic. Period. And that's on pro. If that word is wrong, bro, <laughs> why am I here so gigantic? About so you're just trying to fall in love with what you hate about yourself. Literally, for me, I think I've I think I've done that because I know I was super insecure from grade seven to grade nine i was very insecure i was the most insecure person i know literally my friends were the most gorgeous friends i've ever seen in the world like emphaveni you know so being around them taught me something but i don't have i don't have to compare myself to them because yeah they are beautiful but so am i you literally just want to speak you, you want to speak great you want to you wanna attract? Yay! Why is she making a noise? And I'm shooting. She's doing the most right now. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. Like, I, I want to speak to myself like I'm speaking to a friend. I want to tell myself that I'm beautiful all the time. I want to do what I do for my friends. Like, literally, one thing about me, I will compliment you. I will tell you, umche. Like, I will, babe, you are so beautiful. You okay so the energy that i am giving out i need to give it to myself as well because not everyone is going to see that i am beautiful not everyone is going to like me not everyone is going to think that i am the girl that i think i am so how i maintain my confidence really is just by practicing practicing and practicing and practicing and just reminding myself constantly that i am beautiful and that i do not need anyone to come and tell me that because that is something that i am already giving to myself the beauty the love the peace the happiness and just practice to be by yourself always i think the reason why i know how to do that is because i always lost my friends like they come and they go literally a life thing but whenever i lose a friend i'd feel so lonely and I tried focusing on the fact that people will come and go, people will come and go, and I cannot change that. Therefore, I am safe to say I'm okay when I'm alone. I am happy when I'm alone. Um, I can do A, B, C, or D, A on my own, even though I'm still, like, practicing to go out by myself, be alone, you know, just show myself some love, just go out and have fun by myself, you know, that's something I'm still practicing, but literally just knowing who you are and just practicing 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 because practice makes perfect you will get it and you'll be as confident as you want to be literally do anything that boosts your self-confidence you'll be okay why was i um okay so what advice would you give someone who is trying so hard to be confident as i just said right now is that practice practice 
that says practice just practice speak speak to yourself like you're speaking to your your friend like speak to yourself like you're speaking to the queen royalty your highness baby speak to yourself like that be kind to yourself show yourself some love don't don't now just hate on yourself because you hate something about yourself you did remember this you did not make yourself you were not the creator of you okay you were created by someone else and you will you 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 were literally created by someone else and you just have to be grateful that you have a life and one thing i think we should all look back at is that oh it's me literally looking back oh my side profile mm -hmm. ah it's giving anyway okay um i think one thing that we should remind ourselves is that there are people that actually wish they were where we are so i think that's one of the advantages that i also look at it's just that i'm blessed and that when i am blessed i know that someone wishes they were in my steps so let me just be grateful for where i am and when you are grateful and you're just showing so much gratitude you will actually feel it inside you and when you feel it you glow from the outside and you look good from the outside and people actually see you because you know man you're actually a good person and when you are a good person you become you automatically become so beautiful like i can't i'm so thirsty <laughs> And there's no like um okay how did you become popular i feel like this question is one of the f like the most famous questions because i think people to be popular but it's just like it's just it's not about popularity let's be honest it's not about popularity like for me it's more than that i want to inspire not only do i want to inspire i want to touch someone's heart and i i just want to make a difference for some reason like literally i feel like that is the most important thing for me besides popularity but if i answer you as to how i blew up i'd say um it was that ck song that one t song it was around last year in 2021 era. around last year um october november september around those months months and yeah that uh, 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 song was trending and um yeah i made a video i literally made a video i didn't even know it was gonna blow up but i'd been consistent on instagram like trying to post videos of me dancing but no one really cared until i posted that one video that one video babe and i blew up like quickly like rapidly and i was like what the fuck is happening and yeah i literally blew up bro i didn't even really know how and people were in my dm saying oh Lee, did you buy followers like how did you and i'm like bro i didn't even buy it like i wake up every day i'm, I'm still in shock <laughs> i wake up every day i'm like still in shock what's yo i blew up do you, do you understand so it was really like a a breakthrough for me i think god was like bro it's your time to shine and he gave it to me and i was literally so obsessed like, wow i didn't know i had so much capabilities that fly i need to do something about it okay so yeah that's how i i literally i didn't kill it by the way i can't see it i can't find it i was supposed to kill it i was supposed to kill it but yeah, that's how I blew up. That's how I think I became popular, is to answer you. Excuse me. It's a human thing. Nancy. I hate flies. Yeah, that 19T song just did justice for me. And yeah, I felt super blessed after. I'm seeing this fucking fly again. And I think I'm going to kill it because we are not friends. I don't like flies. Killed it because she's a killer. Killer. Boom, boom, bang, bang, ski. She's a killer. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Boom, boom, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Killed it. Anyway, guys, I really want to answer. We love doing the most. I love dancing. Like, I never knew I, I loved dancing as much as I know I do right now. Like, 
I always knew I loved like performing, being in front of people, and yeah, just being the life and the center of whatever that I'm doing. But I never knew that I had so much power and so much flexibility, even though I've always loved dancing, but I really never knew it. Oh, let me say it's because the people that I was around, like most of the negative people that I was around would always tell me, I like how I dance, I'll just focus on singing. And that I think down, like literally, downgraded me and so now when i started finding myself i realized what you know i have so much passion for um, um, jive like i literally watch someone jive her and i'd get goosebumps bro and i'm like whoa freak why do i feel like that so the minute i started dancing i could actually realize where the feeling came from and i was like nah it's something that i'm good at it's not only singing that i'm good at it's dancing and dancing is so great because i feel so amazing when doing it so i think yeah i think dancing for me is something that i love doing the most literally i just love it literally just love it love it for myself Kisana. <laughs> um what's your name oh, what's wrong with the flies i hate the season you guys let me let me just tell you something be honest i hate the season because it comes with flies that's why I'm a winter babe. <laughs> anyway, what do you okay? I, I answered that. Um, what's your name? I can't pronounce it. My name is Lee Meg. Don't call me Lee Meg. Lee Mag. It's Lee Meg. Lee Shay Magaza. Okay, so yeah, it's a Lee. Spelt as in like L E I J H and Meg M A G T. What M A G from Oh My Guys? Do you get it? So, yeah, my name is Lee, and that's how you say it. You don't have to say the last name, Meg, because you don't have to, but Lee, perfect, perfect. Stana. I'm really camera. Really donations a camera. Tell her donations is a camera. Because more when you full of lani, you know, no pet. They are kill, kill. In can you leave questions? We are Jima because I love your body. I get this question a lot, guys. I do not work out. I do not work out. But I think one of the reasons why my body is so well structured is I give my chest i give myself a chance to dance and whenever i dance obviously i work out and that is like you know yeah but i do not work out but i'd say it's a form of workout so yeah but i just dance i don't really lift weights or do pilates or do cardio it's not my vibe it's not my vibe Are you in a relationship? Ew. No. <laughs> I'm not I'm not in a relationship and I'm not looking. I'm not I'm not interested. For the first time in my life. For the first time in my life. I don't have the stamina to be in a relationship right now. And I'm totally fine with that. Like, do you guys know the video? <laughs> For the first time in my life. I I don't have my eyes on anyone. I'm not in the mood. I don't have enough stamina for it right now, and I'm totally fine with that. I am not looking to be in a relationship. I don't want to be in a relationship. I feel like I'm so okay with not being in a relationship. I'm just trying to get myself and understand myself and just build myself, man, you know? And when I have built myself, I think that's when I'm going to allow people into my life. But for now... In Funsei's phone, I see me great the right name. Lesson you've learned in 2022. There are a lot of lessons that I've learned this year, but I feel like one where you just literally need to understand that people are not always gonna be who you think they are, or people are not who you think they are, is one of the biggest lessons I've learned by far. Um had a lot of backstabbing this year. You know and i'm still cool with the people because i'm not I, i'm i'm not a bitter person 
I am a forgiving person. Do you understand? But one thing I've learned is that just don't expect too much from people. Do not expect too much from people. Stop. Lay your expectations down on yourself, not anyone else. Expect so much from yourself, but not, not, not the other person. Because trust me, doll, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. <laughs> yeah just one of, yeah just don't expect anything from people it's one of the lessons <laughs> um how did you become influential after i blew up i started just creating videos and just speaking to the people and communicating to them and when you do that that's when you become very just responding back to the comments um just speaking to the people in general, man. Utete na bandu. Ube ngumdu wa bandu. Do you understand? Ube ngumdu wa bandu. Being ngumdu wa bandu is so nice. And um, I love it. I love it so much. Because then you don't know. Ba utacha inkizu yoga bani. Do you understand? So I think that's one of the reasons why. Oh, that's, that's how I became very influential. But the fact that I was giving back responding back to the messages not acting bougie as in like oh i have so and so in um followers why do i need to respond to you no i was just literally down to earth and just being there you know just uh, being there and funny do you have a full-time job i think my the very first question or the very first answer explains everything but i do not have a full-time job besides if i take my contemplation as like a full-time job but i think i do because i'm really trying to so hard to be consistent like there are other things going on obviously in life but content creation um uh, how is the transition from high school from high school to after high school so i'd say things have been great like i've always manifested this life for myself and i think i've got it and if you are in high school with me or you knew me close you know i'm a person who manifests anything they want like i literally speak positivity into my life so um i'd say i have manifested everything i have so far <laughs> literally sick i know but yeah i yeah it's been great i can't lie i can't complain i can't complain who i was in high school is not who i want to be tomorrow babe <laughs> so yeah the other question is this question i feel like this question there <laughs> anyway would you consider yourself bisexual yes very much so i love girls last girl that i dated broke my heart though and i broke hers even more but i am bisexual as fuck i'm bisexual as fuck like i love girls like ah i love girls so much oh love you <laughs> love you loads there's this one girl that i have a huge crush on and she basically told me that she's gonna break my heart that's why she doesn't want to be in a relationship with me which is so sad because i really love her like not just like her or like i uh, just like you i love her excuse my dogs in the back but yeah i really love her like genuinely i love her with everything i have and she literally curved me i'm like i bet anyway last question guys this is the last question of the video who inspires you if you don't know now you know nigga let me tell you monthly modisele monthly moloi modisele okay let me say mama africa monthly modisele no mama africa monthly moloi modisele she is my biggest inspiration in life um not in life in general like i feel like in south africa she's my biggest and she is one of the greatest greatest and most amazing dancers i know so i look up to her so much i really do and more of the fact that she has dreadlocks baby eh, 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 eh. 
so yeah i look up to her so much she's such an inspiration to so many people and i know that for a fact so um yeah i just love her i love her a lot she's great she is so Bontle Modisele is like the queen of my anyway guys that is the wrap of the video I just want to say don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below and i will see you guys on my next one and i truly apologize for the previous video the sound i know i'm gonna try and fix things i think it's because i am using my phone to do everything therefore it's really just too much for me to handle because i'm not used to any of this but give me a couple of months and i swear to you i swear i am gonna be where i want to be and thank you so much for watching this video. Ah!